The focus of attention, Luka Jovic. He's been in terrific form as evidenced by four goals in three games. Stay with us. And hello to you from the metropolis on the River Main, the city of Frankfurt. We're at the Deutsche Bank Park. I'm Derek Ray. With me for commentary is Lee Dixon. And we have live action from the Bundesliga coming right up. It's Eintracht Frankfurt facing Borussia Dortmund. Yeah, thank you, Derek. Lovely to be here. I can't wait for this one. A nice quick tempo from both sides will be ideal for me. Let's hope we get that. Should be a great game. And this confrontation is underway. Pressure exerted, but he keeps the ball. Lost possession. Axel Witzel. And space here on the flank. And crossed in there. A very effective clearance. That was interesting to look at the table. And what can we say about these runaways, for want of a better word? Well, they've got such a healthy lead, haven't they? You just don't see them dropping too many points. They will suffer a lack of form at some point, but it's whether they can be caught from behind. The real difficult thing. Competent goalkeeping. Yeah, right place at the right time. Foils the attacker. Rode. Well, defenders, beware when this man is on the pitch. I'm talking about Luka Jovic. Lee, what do you think we might see from him in this game? Well, how do you stop him? Four goals in three games. I suggest the defenders, not just one of them. Twos and threes might be the case. In with a chance. It's there for him. And a goal! That is a very bright start. Perfect way to open. Well, here it is again. It's all about the pace in transition. They were so quick to get out from the back. And when he gets through to the keeper, he just smashes it past him and gives him no chance to think. A lovely finish. 1-0 then. Tor for Borussia Dortmund. The number seven, Jaden Sancho. Daichi Kamada. Luka Jovic. Kostic, Kamada, Rode now, he's allowed his opponent to get past him, not a clear foul but the referee letting the play flow, well the referee not too happy with the challenge and blows for a free kick, he's been admonished by the referee, he's now got to walk something of a tightrope, yeah he knows exactly where he stands, look at the referee how he's told him off there, no yellow card but certainly knows what the referee's thinking. Good-looking cross. Well, he wasn't messing around with the clearance. Luka Jovic. Could be! Well, no accuracy at all in terms of the shot unleashed. Well, it's the care and attention, all that work to get in the position, and then way, way wide. There's been a goal at the pre-zero arena. More on that from Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Borussia Mönchengladbach. It's been scored by Lars Stindl. A big deflection on his shot that left the keeper flat-footed and the ball nestled in the corner. 21 minutes played, 1-0. Regular updates from Alan McAnally along the way. Hazard. Erling Haaland. Shot attempted and just over the bar. Excellent effort it was. Oh, he knows that could have been the game right there. You can see his frustration as well. Daichi Kamada. Kostic has it. Space on the flank. And a decent delivery. Clattered away. 
Well, they no longer have the ball. Jaden Sancho. He's in here. Can they put it away? Sancho. Excellent block. Well, the flag has gone up here. Offside it is. Kostic. And room now out on the flank. And no joy as far as the cross was concerned. Well, impressive possession stats over the last 15 minutes for Dortmund. They've created a lot from midfield. Their forwards are having a field day. Coach, oh, in with a chance! A 1v1 situation, and the goalkeeper does his job. Really good experience there. Picked his time. Really good save. And now the delivery. Just couldn't capitalise there. Breaking at pace. And they'll get ready for the throw-in. Marco Reis. Jaden Sancho. Holland. Here's Reis. Fine goalkeeping to push that away. And a corner to Dortmund as they look to press home their advantage. Guerrero with the corner. That's not a bad ball. And the cross comes to nothing in the end. And there it is, the half-time whistle. Well, very influential in the first half, Jadon Sancho. Lee, your assessment? Well, Derek, he certainly was a good 45 minutes from the lad. Obviously got the goal to give him the lead, but he's looked very, very lively as well. Well, they get the second half going here. Borussia Dortmund in front and hoping to build upon what was a largely positive showing in the first half. Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw-in. He's found a pocket of space. A chance to whip it in. Can he finish? High degree of difficulty to hit it on the volley like that, and it was close. Well, it's all about timing. You've got to wait for the ball to come down, and he's very, very unlucky. I'm hearing there's been a goal in the Union game. Alan? It's a goal for Bayer Leverkusen. 49 minutes played. 1-0. Alan McAnally with his finger on the pulse. Emre Can. Azar. And able to get a body in the way. And that pass could be troublesome. Well, there is a very alert goalkeeper for you. And a clear foul, but the referee letting the play flow. Throw-ins given. Well, nothing productive, really. Well, this is the home of live football, EA TV, and we have more live Bundesliga action for you to look forward to. It's Eintracht Frankfurt facing Hoffenheim. Yeah, the fix is coming thick and fast. Should be a good game, that. Though well, hopefully that's not the commentator's curse. Options in the middle. Can he put it away? 
And a marvellous save. Well, his reflex is there, absolutely spot on. That's why they work so hard in training goalkeepers to pull saves off like that. And firing it into the area. It comes to nothing in the end. Getting forward. It looked as though he was going to score, but last-ditch defending is something you know about, Lee. Yeah, he was hassled. It made him hurry his shot, and it's close. <laughs> Axel Witzel. <laughs> On to Holland. <laughs> Torgan Azar. A good and fair challenge. He's in here. Couldn't quite hang on. He continues his run. Terrific block there. Well, that was goalkeeping at his best, Derek. What a save that was. It leads an accurate cross. And it was a very good-looking move, but alas, no end product. Brandt could be a chance to break here. He'll take this on, and still danger here. And in the end, no damage done. Let's go to Alan McAnally now, because I'm hearing there's been a goal on the Hoffenheim game. Alan. It's a third goal for Borussia Mönchengladbach. It's been scored by Lars Stindl. That's his second today. In the end, it was a simple goal to score, but the build-up you have to... Can he put it in? And he's got it scored to level us again. Well, as we see again, that's how to score goals. Get the ball into the box from wide areas. But then there's still plenty to do from here. Under all sorts of pressure from the defender, he just about keeps him at bay and finishes with a plum. Great goal. Even Steven won a piece on this match. Sincere apologies for having to cut you off just then, Alan. To clarify, Gladbach did score in that match. And they are seemingly cruising now, 3-0 in front. Can they grab the lead late on? And there's the feed into the box. Still alive. Good defending to prevent the chance. Well, the two sides still locked together. And a set piece, a corner, can make all the difference. Now the delivery. Well, body in the way. Now let's see about the cross. Not messing around with that clearance. And it's a case of just five minutes left. Guerrero. They've given it away. That's very effective. Good high pressing. Luka Jovic. The referee has decided there will be just one minute of added time. Getting in there to take it away. And that will do it. The final whistle has sounded. A back-and-forth sort of game and a draw in the end. Lee, your take. Yeah, stalemate, Derek, but that doesn't tell the full story. I'm sure both managers will be saying to their team we could have gone and won that. The positive spin on it, one point gained, not two points lost.